What's up, Film Jammers? Today we're checking out two popular anamorphic lenses. We're lucky to have one of the first copies of the brand new Vazen 1.8 times anamorphic lens, T2.8. And we have the Atlas Orion 100 millimeter T2.0 lens. Now the Vazen lens covers large format cameras like the Alexa Mini LF, the Canon C500 Mark II, while the Atlas anamorphic lenses cover Super 35 millimeter sensors. Now we will be testing today on the Alexa Mini in Super 35, but we will have a future video that we shoot in large format. So make sure to subscribe, hit that bell, ding, ding, dong, so you don't miss it. These lenses are pretty similar in price with the Vazen at $8,000 and the Atlas coming in at 9,000. And that's per lens. Are you ready to go head? Film yes. Okay, we're gonna head into the studio now and do a few different tests with each anamorphic lens, including sharpness, flares, color, bokeh, and breathing. Keep in mind the Atlas is a T2.0 lens, while the Vazen is a native T2.8 lens. So for most of our tests, we'll be doing them at T2.8 to compare them both at the same settings. Let's roll those clips, Charlie. Uh.
All right, well, I hope seeing these old anamorphic lenses compared side by side was helpful. I personally thought both of the lenses performed really well. The Vazen has a bit more extreme flaring and has the ability to go large format, which is really nice. It's also more lightweight and it's $1,000 cheaper per lens. What I liked about the Atlas is it's true two times anamorphic, so it makes it a bit easier to edit in post. We had to manually de-squeeze the Vazen 1.8 times anamorphic footage when we were editing. There may be some better workflows for 1.8 times anamorphic lenses in the future, but when we were in post, the two times anamorphic was a little easier to work with. The Atlas also felt like it had a bit more sturdy construction and I didn't mind the extra weight too much. The Atlas also opens up to a stop brighter at T2.0, which is nice, but it is a bit softer when it's wide open. Overall, I think both of these lenses are a great option if you're looking to shoot anamorphic, and I don't think I could really pick a favorite because I like some of the characteristics of each of the lenses. Let us know what you thought about the lenses down in the comments. I'm Christian with Film Jams, and we'll see you next week. Now, let's anamorphosize. Oh. Oh, 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 ah, ah. That's per lens. <laughs> Are you ready to go head? Action. Ah. Uh.